it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for visiting me again on my channel. Guys, today I have a very exciting video for you, a surprise video. I did not even know that these products uh, were out. Actually, at the beginning of the week, you know, I was surfing the net. I was going through the perfumeries because I was trying to find a new cleanser. And I came across these new products from uh, Caudalie or Caudalie, depending on which country you are in. It's how it is pronounced. Guys, I saw these products and being that there was a bronzer i ordered them they arrived so i am going to demo them for you guys i have not used this so it is going to be a first impressions before we continue i would just like to say for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you so very much for coming again and again and for subscribing for those of you who are here for the first time thank you for visiting and i hope you will find my content to be of some value to you that you would consider subscribing in the near future i do skincare videos makeup videos and perfume videos i also do every now and then uh, drugster edits because I do love uh, this genre of videos and I also um, have some products that I do love from the drugstore so Wendy Wise Beauty is all about beauty and I hope you will consider subscribing like I said Caudalie came out with a uh, two new makeup products it is from their vino crush line and they have a skin tint and also a bronzer so i am going to start with the skin tint it is called the vino crush skin tint this comes in five shades and there are i would say two light shades one medium shade and two deep shades i would just like to give you some stats on this product before i start because it does look a bit scary from uh the packaging when you apply it this is what the packaging looks like in here there is 30 milliliters and this is costing i think about 33 euros but it says the vinyl crush tinted cream ensures an important and even complexion at the same time it emphasizes the natural beauty of the skin further it says the encapsulated pigments of natural origin merge when applied to the skin and ensures even shade and natural finish that matches your skin tone have care and have make up this pure natural formula with hyaluronic acid and grape water provides the skin with moisture all day it is long lasting on the box it also says that there is niacinamide and i got this product in shade four it looks very light upon application but as you can see when i rub it into my hands it does uh, take on the color of my skin tone it adjusts to my skin tone it does say in the product description that it adjusts 95% to the color of your skin tone. I did make swatches, which I am showing above, of two other colors. One color, which is number five, which is the color for very deep skin. And I made a 
a swatch of the color before, which is number three. So now I will go ahead and apply this to my face. This is a skin tint, so I assume it should be applied with the hands. And as you can see, there are color pigments in here. It does say it is a complexion beautifier. So I will add it to one side of my skin. As you can see, it does look lighter when applied and when I rub it into my skin you can see it becomes more yellow and it does adjust to my skin tone. I will go ahead and do this here. This is what it looks like at this time. I have done just uh, one application. I will add a little bit more here. With one application, I mean, I can see a bit of luminosity, but it is more like, I would say, a cream. I do not see much pigmentation. By the way, I have a little burn here from <laughs> pizza, so uh, it has not covered this. It is definitely natural. Actually, on this side where I have nothing, I will go ahead and apply this a bit more generously. It does have sort of like fragrance, but it is not a very, I would say, um, offensive fragrance. It is your normal uh, cowdily fragrance. <laughs> so I will go ahead and apply this much to the other side. I like looking at the way the color changes and this time I have applied a lot more to my skin in the hopes of getting a bit more coverage and then we can compare both sides okay as you've seen on this side I added a bit more product and there is a bit more coverage it is simply a skin tint and it does feel like a uh, skincare so the more you apply the more coverage you will get and it feels very nice on the skin when it is being applied it feels like a moisturizer you know a little bit oily but it is not uncomfortable. I am going to apply a bit more on this side to sort of even out my complexion. Guys, this really, it does take on the color of the skin below. I have tried so many of these uh, color adjusting products and it never worked for me, but this one does. I mean, it does not have mega coverage. It's a skin tint, but it does uh, work. But the only drawback is that, you know, I have a lot of uh, blemishes and spots on my face. And to get any kind of decent coverage, I had to add quite a generous amount. And I do have oily skin, so I am not sure if this is good. My skin, it is not looking oily, but I did add quite a bit. This is what it looks like after I added the skin tint. I mean, I should have made a before after picture. Maybe I can uh, cut this from the introduction picture to see how it looks, the difference with and without. It does look nice. I will wear this uh, for a bit after 
and then I will let you guys know uh, later if this got mega oily or if it remained like this. There was only one shade in this bronzer and it just says long lasting bronzer powder sun kissed complexion. It has eight mineral pigments and antioxidants and polyphenols. <laughs> And this is the way the compact looks. This compact, it is the exact same as the mented uh, bronzer that I just reviewed for you guys. This one, it is just uh, a different color. It is exactly the same. Well, being that they only had one bronzing shade, this should have told me something. But this is what this looks like. I mean, there is a bunch of grapes here. This is the one bronzing shade. This is it. It looks like you can build this up somehow. It looks more of orange. It's not like terracotta. It is more orange. I am going to use my Marina Beauté bronzing brush to apply this. Let me use a, a natural brush. This is one of my Liebling's brushes. When bronzers are like this, I just put it all over my face. And yeah, as you can see, this is with the bronzer. This is without. I am adding quite a generous amount and in the mirror in front of me, it is more like a powder. I mean, I do not get much bronzing from this. It's very sad because they do have five shades in the, in the skin tint. Why didn't they have at least three shades in the bronzer? A bronzer shade for all very seldom works and if anything it should be darker and then you can dose it lightly but this is the best <laughs> I can do with this the bronzer is not doing it much for me I have so many bronzers and I just added this one from minted to my collection so yeah judge for yourself i am a bit uh disappointed with this this is not something that i don't think deeper skin tones would get a lot of use out of i mean how much was the bronzer i think the bronzer it is costing 31.90 and it has 8.5 grams or 0.21 ounces i mean they definitely need some deeper bronzing shades in this uh skin tint there is one uh deeper shade and i do think the skin tint this is really well done it does take the color of my skin and i can only assume that the deeper ones will work just as well for skin tones which are deeper than mine as you can see based on this swatch on my hand I really went into store and did this because I really wanted to see how the other shades were looking. And as you can see, the lighter shade, when I uh, shared it out, the lighter shade remained lighter. The shade that I have, which is the number four, took on my skin tone 
and the darker shade was darker but it did not uh, mix in to my skin color i just added my minted uh lipstick but let me see how this works on top of my eyes yeah and i will to see how this works as a base if i can use it it did something but uh not much guys the skin tint the skin tint is lovely and i do like the way this look it is better than my skin it is looking so natural but um it is not a lot of makeup on my face and this oily feeling that i had on my face when i added the skin tint two layers this is gone i mean it is looking very nice this really is uh for me worth the money i will use this definitely but uh the bronzer it is a flop i am looking at the skin tint again close in the mirror this is definitely one for makeup no makeup days you know when i am really trying to <laughs> look as natural as possible this looks very natural anyway guys thanks for watching please let me know if you plan on picking this up or if you have picked it up, it, there are five shades and it does take on the color of the skin below. This is the best I have found in terms of cosmetic companies making claims that it is chameleon makeup. This one definitely worked for me. Anyway, ciao, hope to see you guys again soon. Please don't forget to subscribe. Tschüss!